So hello everyone, Vinay Yadav here and uh, I am again here to tell you about that what was my strategy to score 79 marks in advanced accounting, uh, the paper number 5. So in paper number 5 how I scored 79 marks and uh, what was my strategy to score such uh, marks in that without any coaching, without taking any uh, particular coaching for that and by doing self study with whatever the free resources available on the YouTube. So let's get started with uh, the strategy which I followed to score 79 marks in advanced accounting paper number 5 of the CA intermediate examination. So it is advanced accounting as the name suggests it was a, a kind of advance in everything like in uh, size you can say the questions are very big in this uh, subject because it is advanced and the AS quality like AS conceptual quality required in this advanced accounting is, is comparatively uh, I would say more deep and you need to have a proper conceptual clarity and AS are uh, uh, higher in number uh, in comparison of the AS of accounting. So you need to cover all those and it comprises of 20 marks only in the advanced accounting paper also and you need to have a thorough conceptual clarity for that. So I started my classes uh, like uh, I started watching uh, on the YouTube the free videos whichever there. So I started with uh, the chapter in advanced accounting is um, buybacks, buyback of shares. So it is considered to be a shortest and easiest chapter. So here also the same strategy applies that you have to go with first the smallest chapters like buyback, ESOP and uh, banking chapters which are smallest uh, in size relatively with other chapters in comparison of the other chapter. So we have to go with that and there are many big chapters also like partnership uh, accounting and amalgamation these are very big chapters. So you have to uh, keep them at last. First you have to complete the smallest chapters then AS then uh, uh, what we say amalgamation partnership accounts and other uh, remaining big chapters you have to uh, complete it. So in that way I completed my uh, syllabus from the YouTube videos and uh, I solved the questions after completing every chapter and after completing the syllabus I went for the RTP, MTP, PYQPs and uh, I marked the questions uh, which, uh, used, uh, which seemed to be tough to me for that point of time to revise them again in future in further revisions. So in that way I completed my syllabus and um, I would like to tell you that in advanced accounting subject what we have to what you have to do is that uh, you have to be little patience because this is a kind of a as the name suggests now it, it is advanced so you have to be little patience just try to have a thorough and 100% accuracy on the small chapters at least then uh, you can uh, keep one or two chapters uh, like um, you, you need to know that formatting and uh, you need to have a uh, basic knowledge at, uh, at least and uh, then you can uh, crack it like uh, uh, if you are not able to solve the amalgamation problem fully then it's okay it is somewhat like you know balance sheet question of form accounting so if if you do not get tallied your uh, amalgamation balance sheet or something like that so it is not to worry uh, about it is not to worry about that uh, even uh, i was not able to uh, complete all these big chapters like partnership accounting it has various method for maximum loss method and uh, other methods are there so you need not to worry about that just complete the small chapters and then jump on the biggest chapters and uh, in this uh, subject i would say uh, for this subject i gave uh, four test series and uh, uh, in this subject uh, i failed once like in unit test i scored average marks then in uh, second full syllabus test series i scored little well in third or fourth i guess i failed once because paper was totally from those uh, chapters which uh, for which i was not prepared properly like for amalgamation and other big chapters uh, it was more about uh, more from them only so that was the thing uh, which led me to fail over there then again I gave my last test series in which I passed so I was kind of a frightened of this subject also because it is a scoring subject uh, people used to score uh, 70, 80, 90 above 90 also so but I, I was not able to score because those big chapters used to be very you know very tricky or uh, you can say very time consuming in the paper so you need to take care of time also while you are studying for this uh, paper like you need to consider that for which question you have to give the time like uh, I, I earlier mentioned that you have to allocate time very efficiently in the examination go with the uh, go with the questions which uh, you think that I can solve easily and with less time then uh, ke kept those keep those questions uh, for the last after completing the easiest one then you can have a good marks then you can fetch the good marks over there so you need to take care of those time con 
time factor Talking also. Talking about 1.5 days strategy, then in 1.5 days, uh, what I did is the same for what for the, all the practical subject. Like I have already marked the important questions and I revised them and whatever the important adjustments were there, I uh, went uh, went through from them. And uh, after that, I uh, I thoroughly did the AS section because you have to do because it comprises of 20 marks, so it is a big portion. So you have to do that. I I did that also, and I had that writing practice. So there was no time uh, constraint for me. Like I was able to complete my paper on time, or you can say five ten minutes earlier also, earlier only. But uh, uh, what happened in my attempt was that uh, the advanced accounting papers was I would say it was it was very easy comparatively with other uh, uh, attempt because I feel that the consolidate consolidated financial statement chapter from that the question came for 15 or uh, 20 marks I guess 15 marks I guess and what that was very easy with no adjustment just to have to just to ha you need to have the conceptual clarity of what minority interest is and what. Uh, uh, the holding companies uh, financial statement how to be made how to segregate them in the time factor also like um, the holding company was bought in the middle of the financial year so it was very easy and uh, the AS were directly from the module by changing their figures and uh, some of them were for RTP and MTP so that's why I emphasize every time that you need to go through from the RTP, MTP and PYQP of all the uh, for all the subjects of uh, as much as possible attempts you can like three or four attempts you can go for so uh, you, uh, that's why I emphasize on that point also and uh, it was relatively easy uh, and uh, internal reconstruction was there for 20 marks so uh, I ended up doing a silly mistake of not reading the question properly but uh, I think that uh, uh, due to which due to that I got uh, out of 20 I think I got 18 or 19 marks because I just forgot one uh, entry uh, in the uh, journal entries and in balance sheet one entry I forgot otherwise it was good I know I got <laughs> by uh, fortunately I would say I got my balance sheet tallied in both the questions so I was very uh, I was on the cloud nine after giving my advanced accounts paper so it was easy and from amalgamation five marks of question came so that was a very um, happy moment for me that uh, the biggest chapter uh, with such a less marks so it was uh, all about my exam day so this is how i managed to uh, score 79 marks and uh, so at last i would like to say uh, that be a game changer in your life with what you have what resources you have in what situation you are in just give you 100 percent and you will excel and you will ace your examinations just believe in yourself believe in your efforts and uh, consistently try to put your effort and uh, you will get the thing whatever you want the rank the passing marks whatever you want not immediately but definitely will get so with that note i'm signing off and also if you guys have any query about this uh, advanced accounting paper like from where i study or any other thing then uh, you can reach out to me uh, on the social platform for which the link is given in the about section or uh, you can comment down below or whatever the queries you have so that uh, it it will be helpful for others also to get their queries solved so with that, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you so much.